Hello everyone. Uh, today I'll be reviewing uh, Miley Blizzard CX1 Cat and Dog uh, Vacuum Cleaner. It is available on Amazon for £330. It's a bit heavy vacuum cleaner, 8.71 kg. So when you are going up the stairs, uh, it is quite heavy for you to carry. It is a bagless vacuum cleaner. Uh, the power cord here is um, 11 meters. This power cord is 11 meters so it gives you a you know bigger operating radius to vacuum your room without changing your socket um, it is a vortex technology with 890 watts and it has got a HEPA air clean lifetime filter up to 99.9 percent .9 of uh, your dust particles are and allergens are retained by the system so which is very good so it is good for those who have severe allergy problems it is really good for them and because it is a lifetime uh, HEPA filter so you don't have to continuously change it um, it also takes your hair and lint with the re reliable you know it has this turbo tech um, brush it really helps in that in picking all your hairs up and um, it is energy, uh, it's uh, exceptional and efficient cleaning with EcoTap. Uh, plus, uh, the graphic uh, symbols on this vacuum cleaner helps you to understand very easily which surface of the carpet or floor you want to do. Uh, the speed of this vacuum cleaner is very high. It's 100 kilometers per hour for the aerodynamic airflow which is ideal for your carpets, hard floor and curtains. Um, I'll be first showing you uh, about this, uh, how to clean your vacuum cleaner because I've not seen any videos where they properly show you how to clean your CX vacuum cleaner. It is very important because I have struggled with it uh, in opening all the parts. So I'll just show you. It's very easy. First, you lift this. So this is your main, which has got a two kg uh, capacity um, for the dust to get in here. So the canister is two kg. It's quite big in terms of capacity. Th there are two ways of cleaning it. Uh, sorry, there are quite a few parts which you need to clean. So in on daily basis, when you're cleaning, this is all you have to do. You press the yellow one. Your dust can come out easily. This is one side and the other thing, sometimes, you know, the, for example, if children, uh, toys, Legos or other things, you know, they get in, they get in here and then they stay here. So you, all you have to do is open this up and then you can take the Lego piece out or whatever toys, if, if bigger pieces have been sucked by the vacuum cleaner. Uh, so this is pretty easy, but there are other place, things as well, which you need to clean often uh, let me just show you so this part also comes off it can be washed easily in warm soapy water or normal water and you can air dry it it comes off very easily I'll just show you so this is how it comes off and then you can put it back on after washing it um, the other thing which uh, you need to clean in this vacuum cleaner so this is this. The other thing which you need to clean in this vacuum cleaner is, if you can see this, it also comes off. So it's a net filter. So there are quite a few filters available in here. So this also comes off easily from here. If you press this button, it will come off and you can take it out. And the other thing is about the HEPA filter. So uh, I've not seen any video where they have explained how to clean the HEPA filter. So this is something which I really wanted to show. So all you have to do is from lock to unlock, you do it. It comes off. You can use your old jug and um, put some warm soapy water in it. Leave it for some time. The whole dust will come out easily. And then you air dry it for 24 hours. So it's very easy. And then all you need to do is press it, press it hard. If you press it loose, it will lock, but it will not go in here. So what you need to do is press it firmly. Once it is in, press it firmly. See, it's all tight and then you lock it. And all you do is you put it in 
and it goes in easily locks it locks so it, it won't move once it's not moving you know that it it is in its place otherwise it will not close otherwise this will not close and then all you need to do is put it this back you can wash your HEPA filter once in three months time it is pretty good in that sense um, I recently washed it that's why my heat HEPA filter was very clean um, so um, all I need okay and now I will show you the different options on here so if you see this vacuum cleaner it comes with two brushes like these one is this ecotech plus uh, brush and uh, the it really takes your hair in so it's really good and this one turbo tech you can see the hair so it rolls up all your hair and lint so it's very good um and then these are the two attachments which you can use for the corners and for your curtains and uh, for your sofas and all. This is it. I'll show you um, the options here. So from minimum of doing your curtains to your maximum of doing your heavy carpets. So, it, you know, this is the rug kind of uh, option. So you have different options which one you want to go for. I usually keep my vacuum cleaner on the middle because the more I go on the maximum, the suction power is so much, it's so amazing that my hand starts to ache because uh, when I'm vacuuming, it takes all the power to suction out everything. So it's very hard for me. So I do that once in uh, two weeks time fortnightly, but usually what I'm doing it, I'm keeping it on the middle because... Um, Otherwise, my hands and shoulders start to ache because the power of this vacuum cleaner is amazing. But if I have to do the small items, uh, you know, the rugs and all, I usually keep it here and it works perfectly. And it's one time, the moment I put it on uh, the carpet, I don't have to repeat it because it will suck everything out. So I'll show you um, my carpet for the... Uh, which I'll be vacuuming in front of you. I'll do a small portion. It's just the area where your dining tables are and it's the rug underneath it. I'll show you. I did not vacuum yet last night. So I'll show you that the crumbs that are on there. My children have been eating and the crumbs that have fallen down. I'll show you how good the suctioning is. So let me do that. So this is my carpet from last night. Can you imagine how children make mess? Um, the vacuum cleaner sound is very high so it's very loud um, let me just vacuum this part and uh, you can hear the voice as well and then you'll see the results So as you can see, it uh, and this is the setting which I did on the middle one, um, and it it's very easy. It doesn't put any effort. One as you know, um, the power is too high, so the effort is low in terms of repeating uh, vacuuming. Well, this is it. Um, if you have any questions, please uh, don't forget to comment and uh, like and subscribe and um, do write to me and let me know how you found this review thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video bye